Hello, I'm Alex. I'll be talking about our work on modality invariant landmark localization using deep reinforcement learning. Locating a target landmark within a medical image is known as anatomical landmark localization. This has a wide range of applications, such as in image segmentation, registration, and classification. Recently, deep reinforcement learning has emerged as the best technique for landmark localization. However, these recent studies have only tested reinforcement learning models within a predefined anatomical environment, such as within a specific region of the body or a specific imaging modality or a specific imaging parameter. In this paper, we show that one reinforcement learning model can be used for landmark localization across a wide range of imaging environments. Specifically, one model can be used across different regions of the body, different imaging parameters, different imaging modalities, and different imaging orientations. The reinforcement learning framework in this paper consists of the following. The environment is a radiological image. The state is a sequence of areas within the image delineated by a bounding box. Possible actions include moving the bounding box in one direction within the image, and the reward is the change in Euclidean distance from the center of the bounding box to the target landmark. Training the agents used Q-learning with experience replay. In this paper, we evaluated two models. The first model was a 2D single agent model evaluated on individual 2D slices. The second model was a 3D multi-agent model with four agents and each agent locating its assigned landmark. The 3D model was evaluated on 3D whole body volumes. The upper figure on the right hand side of the slide shows breast and prostate images that were used in the in evaluating the 2D model, and the bottom figure shows whole body images that were used in evaluating both the 2D and 3D models. Here is the diagram for the DeepQ network of the 2D single agent model. The input is the bounding box regions from the previous four time steps. So that means the input is an image with four channels where each channel comes from a previous time step. And the output is the Q value for each possible action. In this case, since it's 2D, there are four possible actions and therefore four Q values are output by the DQN. Here is the diagram for the DeepQ network of the 3D multi-agent model. It's analogous to the 2D DeepQ network except now there's four agents. The four agents all share the same convolutional layers, but they have their own separate fully connected layers at the end of the network. The output for each agent is six Q values for the six possible actions in the 3D environment. And the data set consisted of multiparametric MRI. Multiparametric MRI contains multiple imaging parameters where each parameter provides different tissue contrasts. This figure shows different imaging parameters, including T1-weighted imaging, Dixon in-phase, Dixon out-of-phase, Dixon fat, and Dixon water in the whole body images. Other imaging parameters are also shown for the breast and prostate images. This slide contains more information about the data set. The table shows which imaging parameters were used for which target landmark. Here is an example of the 2D single agent model locating target landmarks in separate runtimes. Here is an example of the 3D multi agent model locating its target landmarks. The four landmarks shown in the video are all being located during one runtime of the multi agent model. And the figure on the right shows where in the whole body these landmarks are located. Our results show that the 2D single agent model adequately located its target landmarks. The 3D multi agent model similarly was able to locate its target landmarks but had more trouble in locating the knee. Oftentimes, the model would locate part of the thigh above the knee. We have shown that one model for locating anatomical landmarks can operate in many diverse imaging environments, such as in different anatomical regions, imaging modalities, and imaging parameters. Using one model for many tasks or environments is computationally more efficient than using one model for one environment. Thank you for viewing this presentation.